tea fam it's your girl princess i hope everybody's having an amazing day so today i am so excited about doing this video um if you can see what i have on i have on pink all pink and the reason for that is i will be doing the 24 hour challenge of just eating pink foods so let's get into this video and i'm going to show you all the pink stuff that i have um, this is all the stuff that I will be eating for the next 24 hours. Everything is pink, okay, as you can already see. All right, so I'm just going to show you everything that I have. Um, the first thing that I have is this here. You, it's, it's new. It's the pink cranberry juice. Now, I love cranberry juice, y'all, but the regular cranberry juice can be a little tart, but um, this pink cranberry juice is not as tart and it is so good. It's like light and refreshing. All right. And this is new. These are six mini cans. All right. And the next thing that I got was a, let me show you. I got a strawberry Asiat refresher. Okay. And then I just added some non-dairy milk to it to make it the pink drink, the Starbucks pink drink. I'm going to drink some now. Because I'm a little thirsty. Oh my goodness. I love their refreshers, y'all. So tasty. So good. I got this yesterday, actually. And I saved it for today. Because I knew I was doing this video. And then I got some Kellogg's Strawberry Krispies. I've never had this flavor before. I have had the regular Rice Krispies before. So I hope that the Strawberry Krispies taste good. Snap, crackle, and pop. All right. And then I got some more of the pink cranberry juice. I have a lot of drinks, as you can already see. So I have some food, too, because I got to eat. I can't just drink all day. But um, this is really good. Like I said, this is just the bigger bottle. And then I got um, these. are It's the same thing, but these are in bottles. You get six of them, the pink cranberry juice. And I like to take these on the go with me. All right. And then the next thing that I got are some Pocky Sticks, all right? And I probably can only eat the bottoms because the bottoms are only pink. The rest is not, so we'll see how that goes. Then I just have some, I hope this is pink. I don't know what color this is. I got this from my local um, Asian supermarket. So I hope, and I don't know what any of this says because I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what any of this says, but I hope the gum is pink. I hope this is gum. I hope it's not candy because I was looking forward to having some gum. So we'll find out together. And if it's not, I can't eat it. <laughs> so then I got me some strawberry applesauce. I got this from Target. It's a different color shade of pink, but it's pink, y'all. I promise. <laughs> if y'all can see that. Then, oh my goodness, I love this stuff. And I've always seen this in the store and I've never tried it before. And so the other day, they had a mystery flavor. It was so good. So I bought some more of these. And of course, I had to get pink for this challenge. Um, this is the Sparkling Ice Kiwi Strawberry. And it is pink. So that is why I have it. I already had this in my refrigerator. It's the um, Simply Lemonade with Strawberry. It's pink. Let me shake it up so you can see the pinkness because all the lemon particles went to the bottom. <laughs> and then I got this. This is pink too, y'all. It's a different color pink. Okay. Um, but it's like a dark pink. Um, this is Simply Smoothie. I've never had this before. It's Orchard Berry. They had a strawberry banana, but I like bananas, but I don't like when bananas are like in things, if that makes any sense. I kind of like bananas, just like plain bananas. Oh, I do like banana bread, but anything else with banana in it, I'm just not a big fan of. So I got this one. And then from the Asian supermarket also, I got this strawberry. It says, what does it say? Can't read it. Um, it says naturally and artificially flavored. Um, yeah, it says non-carbonated soft drink. So I'm really wondering what this tastes like and then i got let me show you if i can open oh got it i got this cake here from one of my local bakeries all right and the icing is pink y'all i already know but the icing is pink um it has jello on it i, I got it from it was a peruvian bakery 
And so I'm looking forward to trying this. I've seen this so many times, but I've never tried it. But today I will be trying it. And yes, I'm going to try the whole cake. I know the whole cake is not pink, but I maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. So, okay. And then, um, let me see what else I have. Oh my goodness. This, y'all. You know, I looking for pink stuff in the store is so super, super, super hard to do. Okay, when it comes to drinks, you can find pink stuff. When it comes to snacks, you can find pink stuff. When it comes to food, that's another story. But anyway, so look, look what I did. These are pink eggs. What I did was, last night, I put vinegar and beet juice. And I made, and I made them pink. <laughs> so I will be eating these eggs. They don't smell too good today. Maybe I should have made them today instead of yesterday. But we're going to heat them up, see how they taste. They're kind of like pickled eggs. So they're pink, y'all. So we're going to try that. That's going to be very, very interesting. I think of everything I have here, That's this is one of the things that I'm interested in trying. Okay, because I couldn't find pickled eggs in the store. And then I had to make something else pink because I needed dinner. I made pink pasta also using the beet juice. All right. And I also have here, let me show you. I have pink salmon. All right. So we will be having pink salmon probably for dinner or maybe even lunch. I'm not quite sure just yet. And then, oh, y'all, I forgot. Oh, my goodness. I forgot in the freezer. I also have this here, my mochi ice cream that's another thing i am really looking forward to trying all right and then i have one more thing that i have here and these are i just took them out the freezer y'all these are the argentine it says red shrimp but if you look at them they kind of look pink so we might be making those today also if I feel like I haven't had enough food and I need more food. But yeah, y'all. So that is everything that I will be eating for the next 24 hours. So stay tuned for breakfast. It's Krispies with some. My ACI refresher. All right. So stay tuned. I have to pour it in. Okay, I am back with breakfast. All right, let me show you. All right, I have my pink strawberry crispies. All right, if you can see in my pink cup with my pink spoon. So we're going to get into trying this for the very, very first time. Look at that, y'all. It's all pink. Mmm. It smells really good. Mm, and it really tastes really good too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm. This is really good, y'all. Mm mm mm. Mmm. 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 Um. I actually made my own milk. And it's pink. Well, the cereal makes my milk pink, so that qualifies for being pink. I made rice milk. T fam, if you're looking for a non dairy alternative to drink in milk, regular milk, you can make your own milk. I made my own milk. All I did was take um, a cup of rice. And like four cups of water, put it in the blender, put it in the refrigerator overnight so it could get cold. And this is amazing. And it was so easy. I used white rice and I made, and it tastes like regular milk. This is so good. Mm, look at that. Pink. Krispies. Mmm. Mm-mm-mm. And I have my refresher. 
that's almost gone. This is really good though. I put it in a cup because it's pink. And yesterday when I was in the store, I didn't see pink bowls, so I just got the cups. But this is so good, y'all. Mm. Look at my milk. Let me see if I can show y'all without spilling it. Look at the milk. It's pink. <laughs> Mm. This is so tasty. And I I know a lot of people like their cereal and they don't like it soggy. I love a soggy cereal. Mm. Cuz I feel like when the cereal is soggy, all the flavors come out. Mm. That's how I like to eat my cereal. I don't like when it's crunchy. So, I'm the type of person when I make cereal, I let it sit for a little while so it could become soggy. Mmm. I didn't think this was going to fill me up. Cereal usually is like a snack. <laughs> I usually do not eat. I usually don't eat breakfast, but because I'm doing this challenge, I will be eating or trying to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner and some snacks in between. I usually don't do that in a day, but we're going to try. Oh, with my rice milk, you don't have to do it, but... I did add a little bit of um, honey to it, just for a little bit of sweetness. Not too much, but just a little for sweetness. This is really good though. I made rice milk before and I didn't like it, but this time around, it came out really, really good. So, I will be making my own milk going forward. I, I'm the type of person, like, when I make something, I like to make things from scratch. If I can make it myself and not buy it in the store, that's what I prefer to do. So, this is breakfast. I will hit you back when it is snack time. Okay, y'all, I am back. So what time is it? It is snack time. And when I snack, I like to snack. And I really don't eat full meals throughout the day. I do not eat a solid three meals per day unless I'm on vacation or it's a special occasion or something like that. But I really do not eat all day long. Um, I usually eat about maybe one and a half meals, I snack all day. So I have a lot of snacks that I'm about to get into. Some stuff I've never tried before. And well, a lot of this stuff here, I've never tried before. I've, actually, I've never tried any of this stuff before. Only the Pocky Six, but I don't think I had the strawberry ones. But we're gonna get into trying. Like I said, I'm gonna be trying the Pocky Six. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna be, ha I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna have a strawberry. I'm going to have a strawberry applesauce. So I'm just going to take one out. Let me open it up and get one out. All right. And then I also have the Gatorade Chew that I will be trying. And let me get my spoon, my pink spoon. And let's try this applesauce. I've never had this flavor before. And I got this from Target Market Pantry. So we will be trying this for the very first time together. And it's pink. Okay. So let's see how this tastes. Mmm. I should have put it in the refrigerator though. But it's good. Mmm. 
This is a nice little healthy snack. Mmm. Really good. I'm not going to eat the whole thing right now. Because like I said, there's other stuff that I want to try. Like the Pocky Sticks. So let's open it up. Oh, it comes like this. All right, and we're going to get to trying. This is a Japanese snack, y'all. All right. And like I said, I'm only going to eat... I can't eat this part. Why? Because it's not pink. I'm trying to stick with the challenge. Only eat pink stuff. So I'm eating the tip of it, which is pink. Mmm. Not bad. Mmm. This is really good. The best way I could describe it, it tastes like a coconut cookie. It's really good, though. I wanted the green tea one. They had the matcha flavor pocky, which I might get another time. But I'm not doing all green foods. Y'all, leave me a comment down below. If you would like to see more of these type of videos, please leave me a comment of what color should I do next. Because I really want to do... um do more videos, more challenges on this channel. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what color you want me to do next. All right. I chose pink because pink is one of my favorite colors. Blue is the other one. But think about it. How many blue foods are there? And I did, I did not want to buy dye. I wanted to use all natural products when... um. You know, on the foods. Because I kind of feel like when you use dye, that's cheating a little bit. So, mm, these are good. I'm going to eat like two more. And then I'm going to put it down. These are really good. Mmm. Mmm. So tasty. Okay. <laughs> that's what I'm left with. I can't eat those because it's not pink, but... Y'all got to try these. So delicious. All right. So. Next, I'm going to try these energy chews. Now, it's more of me trying this. I usually don't. I snack, but I usually don't eat a whole bunch of snacks all at once. But I want to try the energy chews to see if I have energy all day long. I will let you out all know. So you get one, two, three, four, five. You get six pieces. All right, and I'm just going to take one piece and eat. Mmm. Very chewy. I'm trying to get the flavor. Kind of a little sweet. It tastes like a Gatorade, kind of. Like, if you ever had Gatorade, it's kind of like watered down, but it's kind of sweet. It's not bad, though. I'm just, like, I'm confused because the flavors, I'm just trying to figure out what the flavors are, how to describe the flavors. It's kind of weird, but not bad overall. And the last thing I want to try is this sparkling ice. Like I said, I've never had this flavor this is the kiwi strawberry, but these are good. So let's see what it tastes like. Oh, that's good. And I like these. Usually I do not like drinks and sodas that are like flavored with other things besides sugar, but this is really, really not bad. It doesn't leave such a like nasty aftertaste in your mouth it's really good um let me see what it's sweetened with um it's sweetened with I'm trying to see what it is sweetened with uh okay i'm gonna have to read this and oh sacralose but it doesn't taste like it doesn't leave that really strong aftertaste when you drink stuff that's not um, um, not sweetened with the sugar. 
it has, let me see. I'm trying to see. It has zero sugars. I know it's hard to see, so I'm just, that's what I was looking for. But this is good, y'all. And I got this from my local supermarket. The first time I had it, I bought it from Target and it was a dollar. And then my local supermarket had it on sale and it was also a dollar. So I got a few of these. They're so good. So that is snack time. As you can see, I do eat a lot of snacks throughout the day. Like I said, I don't eat really full meals, but I do snack a lot. So I always have a snack with me in my bag or, you know, wherever I'm at, I have a snack. So I will come back when it is lunchtime. And I'm not looking forward to lunch because what I have planned for lunch are the eggs. So they don't smell that great. So I am not looking forward to lunch, but I will bring you all along when I come back for lunch. KT fam, it is lunchtime and I'm in the kitchen and I'm really dreading lunch, y'all. I'm going to show you what I'm having. I'm not excited about lunch, but let's continue with the 24 hour pink, only eating foods that are pink challenge. All right, for lunch. <laughs> they smell so bad. I hope they don't taste as bad as they smell, but I'm gonna have the pink eggs. All right, so I'm only gonna have one to try. And I have a knife and a fork, which is pink, because I'm not going to bite into it. I'm going to actually cut it up and taste it. All right, stay tuned. Just had an epic fail, y'all. So it's going to be a little bit before I have my lunch. I'm so thankful I made two eggs instead of one because I knew this was going to happen and I did it anyway. I put the egg in the microwave, okay? And guess what happened? It exploded all over my microwave. I had to clean it out. And now I have water on the stove boiling. So yeah, that is what happened. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I heated up my egg after my egg disaster. And this is what we have here. I'm gonna hold it up. We have a pink egg. So I have, like I said, I have some pink utensils that I will be using. Let me cut it. Oh man, y'all. Okay. So can I eat the yolk? <laughs> it's not yellow. This is all I'm eating. I'm not really that hungry, but this is what I'm eating. The pink part. Mmm. I taste the vinegar. It's not bad. I'm just taking a yolk out, y'all. It's not bad. But it just tastes like a lot of vinegar. This is lunch. This is not a lot of lunch. And lunch is my favorite part of the day. But my stomach is feeling a little weird because everything I had so far has been like sweet stuff. I don't even want anything to drink because everything I have is sweet. So I'm not going to drink anything. Pink egg. Mmm. I have to actually cook dinner. Well, not really, because I made the pasta last night. So all I have to do is heat that up. But I have to make the salmon, the pink salmon. All right, y'all. So I'm left with just the yolk. I'm not gonna eat the yolk. It's not bad, but I will not try this again. I will not put vinegar on my eggs again. Because it just tastes like vinegar. That's what I taste most. But anyway, 
Lunch is done. That was a quick lunch. Like I said, my stomach, I'm not, I don't eat breakfast. And then when I eat, like usually if I do have something for breakfast, it can't be sweet. Because if it's sweet, it kind of just messes up my stomach for the whole day. So when possible, I try not to eat sweet things in the morning time. I have to have something savory first and then I can have sweets. But that was lunch, y'all. Quick and easy. I will come back for dinner time. Or maybe I might have a little snack in between, but I don't know. Or maybe I may save the snack to after dinner because my stomach really feels like I had already had too many sweets today. So... Like I said, I'll see you at dinner time. Bye for now. Hey T fam, it is not quite dinner time and I probably could have a snack at the moment, but I really, my stomach is just, I don't want anything right at the moment, but I do want to try this gum, all right? So, like I said, I don't know. I think it's peach flavor. I don't know what it says, but I think it's peach because that looks like a peach. Let's hope that this gum is, let's see, let's hope that this gum is pink or guess what? We can't eat it. I'm just opening the gum. Oh, I don't think it's gum. I don't know why I thought it was sticks of gum. It's like this. It might be candy. So we're going to try it. See if I can open it with one hand. <laughs> I thought this was gum, y'all. I wanted some gum. Okay. Oh, it is gum. And guess what? It is pink. It is pink. I don't want to drop it. But look, it's pink. Mmm. It's mmm. Mmm. It is definitely peach gum. And it has like a minty flavor to it. Mmm, not bad. All right, see you at dinner time. Okay, so I am back. Guess what time it is? Yes, you guessed it. It is dinner time. Okay, let me show you what I have for dinner. All right, look at dinner. This is dinner, y'all. Oh, dinner is about to fall on the floor. But look what I have. I have some pink pasta. Okay. And I did not use food dye to on anything that I ate today. I used beet juice for the um to make it pink. And I have some pink salmon. All right. And I know you might be like, oh, this don't, the salmon might not look so pink. I tried to make it as pink as possible. So what I did was, because I have to have some sauce. Look what I made, y'all. I made some pink sauce. I'll tell you how I made it in a minute. But I just want y'all to see mm, my pink sauce. And it is good. I tried it already. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. But it is pink. Mm, and I'm about to put this all over my salmon patty or salmon cake. Okay, look at that. Look at it. Oh, my goodness. Put it all over. So, basically, the way I made the sauce, and I'm about to show you in a minute. But the way I made the sauce, mmm. I used mayo and some ketchup. And once again, to make it, give it that pink color. So y'all don't say it to me in the comments. Oh, that wasn't pink. I used some more beet juice. Beet juice, it stains very quickly, very easily. If you want something to be pink, just use some beet juice. And it's more healthier for you. So we're going to get into this. Okay. And I really feel like this is my only like savory meal throughout the whole day. I know I had the egg for lunch, but I need food. <laughs> you know, look at that. Uh, with the sauce. Hmm. 
Mmm. That is really, really some good stuff, y'all. Mmm. Let's try the pasta. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. This is a good dinner. Let me get closer. It's a really good dinner. And everything that I put the beet juice on, you can't really um tell. It doesn't taste like beets. Because you know how, well, for me, I feel like beets are very earthy. It's like a very earthy vegetable. Mm. But you can barely taste it. I was gonna um eat some beets with my meal with my dinner, but to me they kind of look a shade they could be a shade of pink, but they also can be like purple or reddish. So mmm that salmon cake is good. But I left out the beets because I wasn't sure of the color. Um uh. Mm -mm. So delicious. Mmm. Mmm. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take the rest of this sauce and put it on the noodles. <laughs> Mm. And I'm gonna mix it in because I was tasting it on the noodles and it's really good. Hmm, this is so good, y'all. Mm. I really have fun doing this challenge because I tried some food today that I've never tried before. Mmm. 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 -mm. It's so good. And the salmon cake is delish. Mmm. -mm -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Mm. I definitely will make this meal again. Beet juice on the pasta and all. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I wish I could give y'all some. Look at that. Through the camera. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, y'all. I'm gonna go, and I'm when I come back, it's gonna be dessert time, and then that is gonna be my wrap up for this video after dessert. Oh, before we get into dessert. This is what I'm going to try for the very first time. It has milk in it, so I don't know how that's going to go with um, what I'm eating, but I want to try it. Oh, this is really, really good. Um, it tastes like a very, very light yogurt drink. That's the best way I could describe it, like a light strawberry yogurt, but it's not like thick. It's just really like a liquid. It's really, really good. Mmm.
It's not, it's not too sweet. It says it has 26 grams of sugar. But it's not bad. All right, I'm going to go finish up eating dinner. And like I said, I'm going to come back with dessert. And that's going to be the conclusion of this video. All right, I'll be back. Okay, T fam. So this is the last um, meal of the day for me. As far as the only eat pink foods for 24 hour challenge. All right, so let me show you what I have. And then I'm just going to get to trying it. I'm really could care less right now about dessert. I really am not feeling dessert. My stomach is kind of feeling like still a little funny from eating a whole bunch of sweets today. But yeah. So I'm going to try this. This is the My Mo. It's mochi ice cream. Okay. And I love mochi. Okay. It's like a rice flour um, dough. And then inside of this one, it has ice cream. But the non-ice cream ones have um, other stuff in it. But I'm going to try this. Mmm. Mmm. And this is a strawberry flavor, y'all. So it is pink. Mmm. It's good. The outside is very, very chewy. Mmm. But it's good. And the last thing that I wanted to try is this pink jello cake. Now with the jello cake, I'm not cheating. I'm gonna try to frost them first, but I'm gonna try the whole cake just to let you all know how it tastes. Okay. Oh, the the pink part looks like jello too. Let's try it. Mm-hmm. It's like a jello. Well, they have plastic on here. But it's like jello. Well, I don't think I like that. Well, let's give it a try. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how this is gonna taste. Oh, I just dropped it, y'all. Oh, I just dropped the jello. It's so jiggly. <laughs> All right, but we are going to try it. I'm trying to get a good piece. That's the best piece I can get. The cake is really good. The cake part is very moist and it's very, very good. I don't know about the jello and the cake combination. I'm just going to take like another little bite. And then that's probably going to be it for me with this because it is it's not that sweet it's not super sweet but it's just it the textures are just different like and I'm not big on textures I can eat different texture foods together and it doesn't bother me but the texture of this together with the jello and the cake is just a little off for me mm -mm. it doesn't go for me but mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm I'm good. <laughs> the cake part of it is really really good, but the Jello it's like the Jello is out of place. So I'm gonna finish eating the mochi. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm, and I think they had a green tea one like this. Once again, this was a green challenge. Mmm. <laughs> I so would have got the green tea one because I love matcha. This is really good. Mm. All right. That is the end of my 24 hour of eating only pink foods. I'm going to go. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment down below. Please leave me a comment down below. And let me know what other food colors you would like for me to try for 24 hours. All right, I'm going to go. Have a beautiful and blessed day. This was so much fun. 
and bye